freelance writing, starting a blog, taking surveys. Luckily for you, you are not just limited to these ways of making money. These are all viable ways to make money online, but you're not limited to just these things. And today we're actually gonna be jumping into some weird ways you can make some money today. Do consider subscribing to join our little family to get more Money Monday videos every single week. So if you're interested in some unconventional ways to make money, continue watching. The first strange website you can use to make some extra money is called Rent a Friend. Essentially with Rent a Friend, you're selling your time to someone who would like your time. With Rent a Friend, you're gonna be doing activities like going to concerts or going to movies, going skating with this person, or maybe even getting some food together. This would be a great way for you to make some money if you're sociable, if you love people, if you love meeting new people, and you are easy to talk to. I've actually never used this website, but I think it's, an interesting concept um, yeah I don't know if people actually use this website but from what I was searching online some people charge up to $60 an hour to be someone's friend my second really weird website to make money is called what's your price what's your price is essentially getting paid to date the whole concept of this website came about for mostly women, the time it takes to get ready, to get your hair done, to get your makeup done, to get your outfit, to be mentally prepared to go on this date. And 90% of the dates are completely useless because they don't look like their picture, they're not who you thought they would be, they're this, they're that, etc. So essentially, this site pays you for the time that you take to get ready, things like that. So this site is supposed to be used for if you're actually on the market, you're actually looking for that special someone and eventually you're gonna find that person. For example, a person will make an offer for $20 for example and they'll pay you for the first date that $20. If you meet the person and you decide you really like this person and you wanna see them again, they're not gonna continue paying you $20. It's just the first date to compensate you for your time of getting ready and preparing for this date. My third strange website is Miss Travel. Miss Travel was actually founded by the same founder of what's your price essentially there's not any money per se you're not necessarily gonna get paid but you can get a free trip out on this website for example if I want to go to Cancun and I don't have anyone to go with and I would like to go with someone and I have some free flying mileage that I would like to use I can offer a trip to someone else who would like to go and someone that I think I would get along with and they could go with me Every person who posts something on this website has their own thing that they're looking for. So maybe this person will pay for your flight because they have extra mileage so they're not actually paying out of pocket, it's free for them. But they're not gonna pay for your hotel or your food or traveling other things. But there are some people that will pay for everything and there are some people that you know want to do 50-50. So no one actually needs to pay you on this website but you could get a free trip out of it, so that could be cool. I've also never really used this website, but looking at a lot of the reviews, it could be pretty interesting. Okay, my fourth really, really strange website is getting a sugar daddy or sugar mama on seekingarrangements.com. I'm just gonna leave that there for you guys as an option. Okay, number five is Checker Patrol. Checker Patrol, pretty much lets you get paid to watch movies at movie theaters. You're essentially a secret movie shopper. So you're gonna go to these local theaters and you're gonna help them improve the customer experience. But you get them to see the movie for free and they also pay you. Each assignment is different depending on where you live and how long the movie is, what they expect you to do. But they will obviously pay for your movie and give you some cash for your time. I think this would be really great for students in general because you know you already go to movies all the time and now you can get paid a little bit of money to do that. My sixth way to make money in a very kind of weird way is getting paid to rate pizzas. So with the source, it's kind of similar like Checker Parole, but instead of movie theaters, it's a variety of different places like pizza shops, restaurants, fast food, also feeders, mechanics, and more places. You're gonna go into this establishment, you're gonna order food or a movie, 
and rate your experience. So for example, if your assignment is at a pizza shop, you're gonna rate how fast you got the pizza, the customer service, were they smiling at you, is it clean, etc. The longer it takes for you to complete the assignment, the more you get paid. If you're an American, they pay by direct deposit. If you're Canadian or English, they pay you by PayPal. My seventh weird way to make some money is with Air Garage. Air Garage allows you to rent out your garage to other people. So why would someone want to rent out your garage? A lot of instances, it's just to park their car. If you live in the city center, it might just be harder to park in the center. If they park in your garage, it can be a lot safer than parking in a public garage. It can be cheaper and it might even be closer to their working space. So obviously the pay will depend on where you're located and how often they can rent out your garage, but on this website, you can expect between 50 and $100 extra a month by renting out your garage. My eighth way is with Redbox. So you know how you can rent out a movie for $1.50 with Redbox? I don't know if people are still doing this, but how do you think those movies are getting there? You can get paid to stock Redbox kiosks with DVDs and just make sure the equipment is running properly. You can check out the link in the description to find what cities they're hiring because it's not everywhere, but you can get paid to stock Redbox boxes in your free time. Stop deleting your junk email. Number nine on my list is a company that will pay you for your junk mail. Small Business Knowledge Center is a company that will actually pay you money to receive your junk mail. So what they wanna do with this mail is analyze marketing techniques and consumer research. You can get paid about $3 per email that they accept. Just because you send it to them doesn't mean they'll accept it, but if it does get accepted, you'll get $3 per email and you can use this money for gift cards that they have like Amazon and other online retailers. My 10th way is getting paid to walk. Kind of like Sweatcoin, there's one called Bit Walking. They pay you in cryptocurrency just for walking. So if you're into cryptocurrency, this could be really interesting for you. They do not pay in cash yet, just like Sweatcoin, but if you're into cryptocurrency and it exploding eventually, this could be something really interesting for you. My 11th way is with Blue Mountain Arts. Blue Mountain Arts will actually pay you up to $300 for the rights to a quote that you've made for a greeting card, a birthday card, or any type of holiday card. So if you consider yourself a person that's creative, you like writing, you're kind of funny, you can think of something kind of witty for a birthday card, then they'll pay you up to $300 for the rights to this quote. Okay, my last weird way to make money is with US Monitor. US Monitor will actually pay you to receive junk mail in the mail. So US Monitor will pay you $10 a month plus 25 cents per piece of junk mail you receive in the mail. So what I thought was interesting about this is if you combine US Monitor where they're gonna give you junk mail, they're gonna pay you to give junk mail, and then you sign up with Small Business Knowledge Center which will pay you to receive, well, will pay you to take your junk mail and you combine the two together, this could be really funny. Like this could be a really interesting way to make money off of junk mail. So these are my 11 ways to make a little bit of extra money doing some weird things. I'm sure you've already heard of selling your hair, donating blood or plasma, and some other sketchy kind of weird things out there. But hopefully some of these things are useful for you. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.